in five minutes, you could know your risk for a heart attack with one simple test. I had a patient today, she's a 69-year-old female whose brother had a heart attack in the last couple of weeks. The best patients for a CT coronary artery calcium score exam have one of the following risk factors. The test is, is good for anybody over 50 and anybody that has risk factors. Smokers, diabetics, people have uh, chronic hypertension, family history of coronary artery disease, uh, any prior coronary artery event. Here's what it's like to get the non-invasive exam. Right here, and lay on your back, put your head on the pillow. We will lay down on the table. Uh, the table goes up. Two electrodes are attached to your chest. Then the study starts. It goes back and forth through this opening two times. There's a speaker inside of here, and we'll play a recording that will say, "Take a breath in, and hold your breath." Mm -hmm. The first picture is a five-second setup picture, and then the second one is a high-detailed scan, lasts about 10 to 12 seconds. And with the high-detailed scan, we take pictures through your heart, and with that data set, we'll send it to a computer where the doctor can look at each individual vessel. This is a good one here. Well, we gate the study to the heart, so in between the beats when the heart is still, that's when we're doing our scanning to evaluate the calcifications while they're still and not moving because of the pulsation of the heart. The entire exam typically lasts three to five minutes. Calcifications show up on your scan and the amount of plaque is compared to other patients your age to determine your score. It's a general screening test and a zero or a low score, say less than 100, uh, would put you in a low risk category. Calcifications imply plaque, and plaque is associated with narrowing of the lumen of the blood vessel. The more that gets narrowed, the more likely a person could potentially have a heart attack. With answers from the test, you could prolong your life by making changes to your diet or activity level. Your doctor may also recommend statins. The exam is not typically covered by insurance, Many patients make the choice to have this test done. Right, you can self-refer. We see a lot of patients that come in and do that. I just encourage people to take control of their health, and that includes maintenance and preventive measures, including this CT scan.